Hello. And hello. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for being here. Uh, Mur- Murat. M- Murat. I don't know how to say this name, but he sent me a suggestion about German prisons. <laughs> I love the idea. Love it. Hadn't thought about that. Um, I'm not going to watch this same video because it was like 25 minutes long. But I found another video. You know, it's, it's the idea that matters, you know. Thanks, Marat, for the idea. Um, what German prisons? Now, this one kind of has the opposite problem. But at least I won't be here talking for like an hour. Because I don't know how many people would watch that. This one's only three minutes long is what I mean. It's pretty short. Uh, but it's what German prisons do differently. Hopefully they mean differently than the United States. I'm kind of banking. Oh, look at that. Then the U.S. <laughs> Heck yeah. Okay. Okay, come on, computer. We can do it. All right. I'm very interested. Let us watch. American prisons are toxic places. She kind of looks like she's in prison right now. I mean, this it looks like a security camera. It looks like a like you know they line people up for their mugshot. I'm just kidding. It's a beautiful, um, beautiful shot. <laughs> Vera Institute of Justice. This is very low quality. I'm gonna try to refresh it. <laughs> Okay, I think it was somehow my computer, stupid American computer, because she no longer looks like she's on a security webcam. <sighs> All right, let's go. Are toxic places. Yeah, you don't want to be in prison in America, from, from what I've heard. I don't know from experience, but from what I've heard, you don't want to be there, <laughs> which I don't know. I suppose that's an, a deterrent of some sort. Uh, well, let's just watch the video. Let's get into it, you know. I'll give my thoughts more as... Whoa. <laughs> this is... Guys, work with me here. When you walk into them, you... Hey, I like your name. You are immediately bombarded by the smell, by the noise, by the lack of... I never thought about the smell. Color on the walls. There is a dearth of life in the eyes of the people. Dearth. I don't even know that word and I speak English. Who are incarcerated, the people that work in the prisons. There's little grass or trees. Very little plant life. This is just... They do have basketball. What the absence of life and joy can be. <laughs> Yeah, and from an American point of view, that's kind of what you think prison, I don't know if I want to say should be, but that's kind of what you think of it as being, and like how it's, how you've always seen it in movies and shows, just, that's how you think of it. Like, yeah, of course prison is horrible. It's meant to be. So we went to Germany to understand how you can do things differently. They've taken the structures, the architecture around prisons, and they've modified the hey. structure. <laughs> They're playing nice music, <laughs> but this still does not look like a place I want to be. Just because you put some piano music behind it, <laughs> like this scary, super thick wall and door that looks like you could never escape. Structures, the architecture. And this wall needs to be power washed. But that's a nice soccer field. Architecture around prisons. I'm just giving my honest first like thoughts. Hey, look, there's a sunflower. You're not going to see that here in America. A uh, freaking sunflower on the wall. And they've modified them and changed the people inside. Justice. That's cool. I like that. I like when the words like justice translates like that to German. Them. Just they his. run their prisons based in human dignity and organized around the... I feel like I am like, okay, somehow, okay, we're already almost halfway through the video and I need to focus. People inside them. They run their prisons based in human dignity and organized around the... Prison. Are those the prisoners? None of those people look like prisoners. Of normalization. That... Whoa, it's cool artwork. Prisons should replicate the outside... You get a kitchen? There's no way this is like in the, in every cell. 
This is like a community shared space, I assume. Community as much as possible. They learn that this job is about relationships and that relational safety is just as important as the security of the building. There's life, you know, people aren't afraid for their safety. We saw young people laying on the courtyard. Yeah, now this does not look like a prison. If you just <laughs> pretend the barbed, fo barbed wire fence isn't there, this looks like a, a park that I would go to. You could go fishing. This is beautiful. Completely comfortable. Wow. With each other. You would never see that in an American prison. We saw... Hey, you guys have basketball too. People hanging out with correctional officers without the fear of surveillance. Young people and... These are prisoners? Correctional officers playing soccer. You walk into someone's room and you can learn so much about them. They've got posters on the wall of their heroes and... <laughs> That's a cool poster. Heroes, and you've got TVs. You have a, this is a cell? Like, you have curtains? And you've got lighters on the table because they're smoking. I mean, I'm thinking about this more as it goes on, you know. It definitely makes sense. One, from a humanitarian standpoint. I don't know why I had two fingers up. One, from the humanitarian, you know, ethical standpoint. Two, it makes sense from, like, these people are eventually not going to be in prison, mostly, most of them, hopefully. So, you don't want them to have this, like, you don't want them to be, to go into prison and become hardened and have to join a gang and have to get, it'll lead them down the wrong path in their life and in their mindset, even more so than before they went to prison, like coming out of prison. There's a good chance you're going to be even more messed up and want to, you know, feel like your life is just about crime and and you'd be you'd, you'd almost want revenge like on the system for treating you so badly. So that that it makes sense the more I'm I'm thinking about it. It's very very different. One of the things that was so striking was walking through a prison compound and you see trees and water and swans. We got swans. It's what human dignity. See, now the nice piano music is making sense because this actually is stunning. Look at these trees. This looks like a college campus. Dignity smells like, looks like, and feels like. That's a cool sculpture. And this was in a maximum security prison in Germany. Wow. It tells us you can do this a different way. Our experiment with mass incarceration. I, hmm. I just don't know if this would ever fly here in America. People are like, I think this is super interesting, but people here, Americans, tend to think of criminals. They want them dead. Like they, they want some serious, harsh um, punishment against criminals especially violent criminals and stuff. Um, so the idea of being like, yeah, we're going to send them to this place where they have a nice park and a TV and all these things, like that would infuriate a lot of people, even though it does seem like the more ethical thing to do. So I just don't know if it could ever... Maybe in a long time, you know, maybe it'll... Maybe we can improve our prison system over here to be more like like this but i feel like it would take a long time because you know has created a uniquely american phenomenon that has prisons warehousing millions of people far away from their families and communities mm -hmm. it has not worked it has not yeah it definitely doesn't seem to work because half the people in prisons are repeat offenders like they keep going back so it's definitely not rehabilitating them. It, 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 the only like counterpoint to that to me, like that I'm thinking about is, but if you make it nicer in prison, then it's almost, you would think, you would think that 
that just makes it less of a deterrence to go back. So the criminal might choose to <laughs> repeat another crime, repeat offender, because prison's not so bad. But I'm guessing it doesn't actually play out that way. Not made us safer. But we can learn from other countries like Germany, where they have systems designed around human dignity that promote restorative justice, that mm. ensure accountability, and everyone is safer, happier. So restorative justice is more like rehabilitation, I assume. Healthier. And we can restore the promise of American justice. I've watched a lot of videos about American prisons and it's basically run by gangs. Like if you go to a federal prison here in America for any significant amount of time, like especially a maxim, maximum security prison, you are going to be a part of a gang the second you walk in just because of the color of your skin and things like this. So, wow, I mean, our system just seems completely screwed up <laughs> and I don't know. I don't know how it, how to fix it. Hmm. Maybe these people are trying, you know. Good luck to the Vera Institute. Well, if I was ever wrongly convicted of a crime, I definitely hope I'm in Germany and not America. Because <laughs> that would be the worst thing, is to be wrongfully convicted of a crime and then have to go to prison in America. That's like a double whammy. Okay. For, I feel like I was all over the place this video. I apologize. I don't know how it's 12 minutes long. It's a three minute long video. What What have I been talking about? Uh, thank you for watching. Hey, I, did, I do need to mention in the description there's now a form. A link to a form where you can submit videos. It's pretty neat. Um, anyway, thank you for watching. Subscribe if you want to. Either way. I hope to see you tomorrow. <gasps> Goodbye.